Hi, this is Dana with Final Inventors, and I'm here today to show you how I quickly weed one of my um, most popular designs, but probably the one that is the most intimidating for anyone, whether they're um, new at weeding vinyl or more experienced. <coughs> Excuse me. The final I'm using today is VV066, the giving plate. It's a lot of text in a circular, circular um, pattern and can be a little intimidating. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is show you the tools that I use. Um, my most favorite tool for weeding would be my Cutter B tweezers. They're very um, sharp. Actually, I've stabbed myself several times and they have um, a good grip on them. One of the other tools that I like to use is my Fisker's finger finger knife. Um, a lot of times if I have a piece that just doesn't want to come up, I can go ahead and just trim it out with this. But this here is my favorite. Okay, um, the other thing that I can do that make can make weeding easier is after I get it trimmed out, um, I'm assuming that I'm going to ship this out to somebody, I'm going to go ahead and stick it on my... Um, cutting mat because it kind of keeps it stable and a little easier to move. So that's one little tip and trick that you can do. Um, with this particular file, I start in the top right corner and I have the words. Um, it doesn't really matter since it's in a circular motion, but for this one, the start of the top of the plate is actually on my right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it from the top right and I'm just going to pull on an angle. And I see a couple letters I already pulled out. And I'm just going to pull it off. Don't um, wad up your excess vinyl because I can see I missed a V and a V there. <laughs> um, typically this is, doesn't normally happen, but of course I'm videotaping. So that will be um, part of the course. And uh, that's my A and D. So just pull up any of them that you see that are um, kind of loose, so you don't lose them. I just kind of set them aside. Not too bad, actually, considering um, it was in one whip, one rip. So I'm going to try and find my V for travel. And it is somewhere over here. Probably in this mess. If I had to, I can always just recut that particular word. Um, I left the heart black, but I actually am going to pull that off and I'm going to cut it in red. But on the backing paper, it's slightly scored, so I know exactly where to put that heart when I'm done with it. Um, that's one of the things that I do quite often with um, with multi multicolored designs. Um, but as you can see, this is actually fairly easy to go ahead and weed. It will take you no time at all to do. Um, oops, I just grabbed the center of all of my of all my designs, or center of all my letters. I'm sorry, I'm not awake. There we go. Um, and just kind of go around it systematically so I don't forget anything. If you notice, I'm keeping them all on my finger and I'm just grabbing them and placing them. It goes a little bit faster for me to do it that way. I know other people will take them and use that little tool that they pull it off, but I just go and grab. It should take me more than just a few minutes to do. One of the things I could have done with this file is I could have taken my knife and before I ripped off the top, I could have slightly gone through and made some cut words, although that would have been kind of hard not to um, cut into any of the other letters. So I actually find this file is easier to just rip the band-aid off and do it in one pull and then just replace those occasional letters that you've missed. Like I said, I see two or three letters that I have to recut, but the idea is to do it quickly, just like you would a Band-Aid. 
and it won't take any time at all. Your paper should be slightly scored so you know exactly where to place the letters when you're done. I missed a word there. If you go to your Silhouette or um, Cricut software and ungroup your design, you can pull out the letters that you need and just print those letters, or sorry, just cut those letters for the design. So there you go. That was it. I just took a couple minutes to go ahead and weed it. Um, this is a fantastic tool. I have saved this piece when I tore it off. I didn't bundle it all up or um, crimp all it all up. So I can probably go through here and find any of the letters that I'm missing. The A and D is right here. I can go and just place it as so. Love. I found that on here. If you're careful, you can go ahead and peel it up. I've been cutting vinyl for many years, and um, as many times as I've cut this file, probably over, probably over a hundred times, I've made this design several times. You can, um, you'll learn all the little, whoops, little tips and tricks. I'm not able to save that V, so I'll have to cut the V, another V, and just kind of go through and read it, make sure. I think those are the only two letters that I missed, actually. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. It's very simple and easy to do. I like to use um, vinyl, Oracle Vinyl 651 for this particular um, design. It... In my opinion, Oracle is the best vinyl to cut. You can purchase Silhouette and Cricut vinyl. Um, I have a hard time with that. It doesn't want to cut as clean. It kind of melds back together sometimes after you cut it. I will say that there are days when there's a, a huge temperature change from cold to hot or hot to cold that the vinyl will act up. It doesn't matter how great of a cutter you have, professional cutter or... Um, a craft cutter if the vinyl is not going to cooperate it's not going to cooperate and you just kind of have to walk away from it and I've had several days like that where I've just had to say okay this isn't going to work today and walk a day, walk away um, just give it a chance make sure that you're not cutting too deep into your backing paper if you're cutting too deep then you're cutting the vinyl into the paper and it'll be difficult to weed so when you go to pull that top piece off you're going to be pulling up all the letters with it so one of the tricks is to make sure that your um, cutter has the right settings for the blade um, blade depth if it's too deep it's gonna you're gonna it's not gonna work if it's not deep enough it's not gonna work because you're still gonna be um, having to trim out some of the ladders so it's a trial and error once you get it dialed in then you're you're great to go just uh, remember that sometimes the weather can play play a difference in your um, vinyl, whether it will be well for you or not. If it's too hot, sometimes it can melt back together and make it difficult to weed. Or if it's old vinyl or at the end of the roll, I find sometimes the last two feet of vinyl, it just doesn't want to, it just doesn't want to weed. doesn't matter how simple of a design it is or how difficult, it won't weed. Um, so a lot of times I end up throwing the last two feet away. Okay, this is it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to tag me in the post. I'm going to go ahead and put this up. If you have any questions, I will try and help you out as much as I can. All right, have a great day.